Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get a lot of money quickly um, in Cook Burgers. So there are a lot of things you can do, but one of the easiest things you can do is just know where everything is. If you're trying to make a burger and you don't know where the extra meat is, you're going to have a lot of trouble having to go order meat and cheese and then waiting for the delivery truck to come and all of that. So first I'm just going to explain where everything is. This is a new kitchen, I've just cleared it. Uh, I, I'm on cooldown still, so I just did this less than a minute ago, whoa, that's not what I meant to do, I've just, I just cleared it less than a, mi a minute ago, so I'll just explain where everything is. So steak, right here, next to the burner, or the oven, or the stove, whatever you want to call it, put the steak on the, on the stove, and it'll start cooking after a second. I'll be waiting for that. Here are fries, and here is the fryer, we put the fries in the fryer, mix fried fries, this is slightly cooked. Fries take longer than uh, patties do to cook. Here are the plates. We can right click the plate button to make a new plate fall. Buns. Bottom buns. Top buns. The bottom ones go on the bottom. Top ones go on the top. Here are our starter sauces. We've got ketchup and mustard. We've also got some over there. And some over there. Here's our ingredients delivery. For all of our main ingredients, we can order... Um, top and bottom buns, meat and cheese, or lettuce. Here's our starter cheese and lettuce. Uh, and then in here we have spare steak. Then out here in the back, we have a freezer with extra fries and the ability to order more fries for free. Now for a couple tips on how to actually make money. Uh, so, you get a dollar for every box you throw away, which I will show in a second. Uh, and then also, you will get more money for burgers with sauce on them. So I'll, ex I'll go on in a, in a little bit more detail about sauce later, it's going to have its own category. Uh, but for now I'm just going to talk about the boxes. And then another thing, always order uh, boxes from here and over there in the fry in the freezer instead of buying them directly it does it can't uh like you can't order them in bulk you can buy things in bulk which is uh that can speed up your process significantly but obviously it decreases your profit margin because you're spending money on ingredients now there are a couple ingredients that i would recommend you buy but i'll go over those that, that'll also have its own separate topic so right now for now i'm just going to order this meat and cheese and then this screen will pop up, say delivery in progress, everybody else will come, they won't be able to buy anything, or they won't be able to order anything. Same thing for over here, we can't order anything while there is a delivery in progress, it'll tell us what we are ordering. In this case we're ordering a meat and cheese, so it'll display a picture of a patty. Uh, when the truck gets here, we've got one package of meat and one package of cheese. So. Let's say I open this box, which you should never do. Never open a box out here. It's just a, it's just not a good idea. But anyway, after I've picked up my empty cart package, it'll say some cardboard that should be thrown away. After we listen, throw it away. We'll get one dollar. And it's probably not worth it to go out of your way to throw these things away, because you can use that time to make money uh, by doing more productive things like making burgers. But if you come here and you open a box in here, there's no reason not to throw it away. It cleans up your workspace and it earns you an extra dollar. Now I also want to talk, uh, now I'm going to go on to the segment about these. You can find money just laying around anywhere. Uh, well, not anywhere. They spawn in specific places every time the kitchen is cleaned. So I'm going to show you where all of these places are. The first one is right where you spawn. You get one money. Put that on. Why not? Second one is in the supermarket. Uh, the supermarket, or in the supermarket, is right behind the counter. Right here. You have five dollars. Uh, but I'm going to leave this here for reasons that I will talk about in just a second. Uh, but there are some other secret money areas that we don't currently have access to. Uh, well, we do have access to them. I'll show them off. I'll show one of them off right now. Because we don't have access to all of them. We do. We can just item hop up here. To this area. And there is. Oh. 
there's a three dollar bill right here and also notice this little rat thing i'll be talking about that later well now that our five dollars is gone uh, i'm just gonna go cash this in and then i'm going to talk about uh the sewer because the oh uh, there's our five dollars the sewer uh does have something to do with uh with, with our money places so when we after we've cashed this in we're going to go out back here i'm going to clean the kitchen because i don't want that uh stuff on the floor and i sh can't jump over this short wall but that's okay after we get back here uh it's right behind the restaurant here after we get past this wall that I, for some reason, can't get past, there will be this electric switch. It triggers an electric system. Right-click it to activate it. Make sure this lid is green. Then we can go head over to the sewers, which is over a little bit to the left of the restaurant, or of the front of the restaurant. If you walk out, go to the left. That's where it is. It's right over here, across from the, su the supermarket. We can jump over this and come down here. All right. So... This is always here, but this bridge over here was actually lowered by that switch we triggered earlier. And in here we will find a a lab. So, we've got a uh, a trash thing there. And we've also got this machine. So in this machine, if you are a rat, you can bring materials down, or you can bring food down through the little rat holes. And then you can put it in here, and then w uh, that'll take it and make potions which is uh how you get the different types of potions green potions turn you into a random rat uh purple potions turn you into a cat and then the golden potions i believe are guaranteed to turn you into a, a rare rat i don't actually remember all the details about the golden ones but i do remember that that is how you get a badge the the builder rat badge uh i have a video about that you, you'll have to go search my channel to find it uh, but anyway, after we get a potion, there are a couple more down here. We can interact with it, and we will turn into a rat. Another way we can get these is, uh, we can buy them for $15 in the supermarket. And buying any of the rat game passes lets us turn into rats. Because, you know, they're rat game passes. Uh, so, I don't know how to close this. Uh, uh, give me a second. Oh, there's a close button right there. Okay, okay, I'm... I'm sorry. So anyway, now that we are a rat, we can come here into the uh, the bread store. And this thing actually takes us where we were before with that $3 bill. And since I've cleared the kitchen, uh, there's another $3 here. We can go and cash that in. We can actually even cash that in as a rat. Uh, so that's the thing you can do. Let me drop that. As you can see. We still get the money for that. Uh, and now I'm going to go talk about a secret room. Uh, there will I will have to cut this a little bit, so there's going to be a bit of transition. I'm not cheating in money or anything. Or I'm, I'm not cutting and then going and farming money a different way. This is an actual thing you can do. Uh, but behind here, there's this uh, staff-only door. You can't access it no matter what. But... If we're a rat, we come down here, there's this rat hole here, which teleports us into this room, presumably the same one. It says, use the D-pad on controller, or the arrow keys on keyboard, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A. But it didn't work on my account, because I've already done it, so I'm going to go get an alt to do it. But usually what it does is, uh, well, you'll see what it does in just a minute. Alright, so I'm now on my alt, and notice how I have zero dollars. So what I'm going to go do is, on my main account, I have bought one of those uh, rat potions because I didn't feel like going down on my alt and getting one of the ones from the sewer. Plus, they're only, they're only a couple dollars. They're only $15, so it's not that bad. But anyway, I'm going to go do it on my alt. And again, notice I have zero dollars. I'll show you how much I have when I get back. So, uh, I'll, I'll be right there. Alright, so I am in this room now. So we're going to do the thing. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA. And we get this $100 added message. Uh, I can't actually see my cursor, which is really... Okay, I got it. Uh, 
So now, obviously, I'm going to have $100 if I reset my character here. There we go. That was an easy $100. You can only do this once per account, though. So after you've made your first easy $100, can't do it ever again. Now, uh, the next segment that I'm going to talk about is sauces and ingredients. So of course we've got ketchup and mustard and lettuce and cheese and all of those basic ingredients that we start with. But using other ingredients that we can only get uh, through buying them is much more profitable. So, uh, $30 will get you an extra two sauces. Barbecue sauce and burger sauce. So let's buy this. Bought that and now let's buy this burger sauce. And I could have just bought a box to carry them home in, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to carry them one by one. I'll be right back. So the different types of sauces gives you a different amount of money. A plain burger with no sauce will give you ten dollars if done correctly. A burger with ketchup or mustard will give you thirteen dollars if done correctly. The burger with a burger sauce or barbecue sauce will give you $20 if done correctly. And then, of course, the critics will give you $300, but that will be the next segment. So make sure you watch uh, to the end to make sure you learn how to do that. Uh, so, now I'll give you a priority list of how, uh, well, like what order you should prioritize your orders in. So, fries, or just plain fries first, they, they give like $3 or $5 or however much. Then, fries with ketchup or mustard, they'll give a little bit more. Fries with the two advanced sauces will give even a little bit more than that. Then, uh, burgers, or plain burgers, uh, burgers, uh, bur burgers with the basic sauces, burgers with the advanced sauces, and then finally, of course, the critic, because it gives by far the most. But if you see a critic up here, you're not going to want to go build a critic burger. You're going to want to have one prepared before the critic even comes. Because they do take a, a little bit of time. They they take less than 10 minutes. But it's still quite a long time compared to the other burgers. So now I will go get... I'll go show you how, how, much, each, how much you get from each burger. Uh, like I said, you get... I already said how much you get. I, I'm just going to show you because... I feel like it, so I'll be right back after I have one done with burger sauce, because that's what that one is. Alright, this is a burger with burger sauce. Uh, where are they? Uh, here they are. Here's your burger. I thought I had three critics in here at the same time, that would have been lucky. Uh, so, see, we got two tens from a burger with... Uh, the, the advanced sauces. Now, uh, I'm going to make... Or now, we'll wait until I have a burger that I can make within the time. Uh, of the basic sauces. Alright, and I'll show you a plain burger. I was going to show you one of the basic sauces. But then I lost my last piece of cheese. So I'm not going to do that. So here's, here, here is, you can have this. So we got ten dollars from that. So remember, it was thirty dollars uh, for both sauces. So after three orders of advanced sauces, we get an extra ten dollars from that. Uh, the advanced sauces pay for themselves after three orders, which is uh, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good amount of money. Now I'm gonna show you the the amount of money you get from uh, one of the basic sauces. So here it is. This is a burger with mustard. Sorry about that, my headphones dead. So here, you can have this. And we got thirteen dollars. So uh well that's not what I wanted. The uh Obviously, you get the most money for the advanced sauces, and it, it even pays for itself after just 
a couple orders. So that would definitely be my recommendation if you're going to take this path. But this is not the path that I would recommend you take for earning money. Um, I will show you that. Oh, no. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So, to start doing that, what we're going to want to do is we're going to get want to get a plate. And then we're going to want to put a bottom bun on it. And then we are going to take it out to the front of the shop, of the supermarket. And this does involve critics. I've had two critics in my shop for basically the entire video. As soon as as soon as I go in, we're not going to have any critics in there. But anyway, we're going to grab $12. And then we are going to buy six boxes of cheese. And I'll be right back with you after I'm done doing that. But also, uh, make sure you bring those boxes of cheese outside as you buy them. Because that's where we're going to be working with them. Buy the box of cheese, bring it outside. Like that. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, so I have my six boxes of cheese, and we are going to be working outside, so you may want to get some rat traps for six dollars for one box, or uh, get the microwave hat uh, to zap all the rats that come near you. But basically, now what we're going to do is we're just going to put all of the cheese that we've just ordered onto this burger. And if you lose a couple pieces of cheese to rats or just because you lost them, uh, you might want to buy another box. Another box never hurts. You'll make slightly less uh, money, but that's okay. It's just by $2, really, so it doesn't really matter. And also, make sure you're doing this on a private server because people will steal those from you. Um, and also, the kitchen will get cleaned inevitably uh, while you're working and you'll have to restart. And these don't take a lot of time to make. Uh, they do compared to other burgers, but they, these things take like less than ten dollars. Or sorry, less than ten minutes, and you get hundreds of dollars. Uh, you can get thousands of dollars per hour if you just make a ton of these. Uh, the only bottleneck to this strategy is it is lightly luck based because uh, critic spawns, as you saw earlier, I had. Um, critic or uh, yeah sorry i had critics in my in my store uh, at least two of them for basically the entire video if you were paying attention uh but it will not always be that way a lot of the times you're actually gonna have zero critics so as i said major bo uh, bottleneck of this strategy is luck and after you ha if you're being unlucky you have like three or four of these burgers just kind of in your kitchen waiting to be served then I'd recommend that you just go work on normal burgers for the time being because even though these are worth more if, if you've got like three or four saved up there's really no point in making more but anyway I will be right back with you after I'm done adding this last box and a half of cheese alright so I have finished this and by the looks of it, look at that, there aren't any critics. My luck. As soon as I as soon as I try to serve one, they all leave. Anyway, you're gonna bring this back to your kitchen and put a top bun on it. And um if you don't have one, just wait. If you really want to, you could go make another one while you're waiting, or you could go make normal burgers. That's is that it? is obviously not very efficient to um to sit around and do nothing uh, so go as i said just make another one or make burgers obviously with that priority list that i was talking about earlier with your barbecue and burger sauce ones first then uh then catch up and stuff and look at that we've got a critic so this is what a critic looks like on the big board. It's a star, uh, and they have multiple different outfits. They can be wearing this kind of a uh, animal fur suit kind of looking thing. They could be wearing a red suit or a purple suit. I believe those are the only clothing items that they could wear, but I may be wrong. So if we give this burger to the critic, uh there are a couple things that can happen. So, 
Notice how I did not get $300. I did that on purpose to show you uh, a couple other things that can happen. So while I'm going and making my second cheeseburger, I'm going to explain why that happened and how you can fix it, how you can prevent it from happening. Uh, so basically the way critics work is they have a rating system. So uh, ratings er, for every ingredient that you put on your burger has either a positive or negative point value. Uh, and your burger value will change by that amount whenever you put an ingredient on. Cheese has a positive uh, ingredient or uh, point count, and so by abusing it, we can just put tons and tons of cheese on to our burger because it's really cheap. Uh, it's one of the most profitable ways of um, buying the ingredients and still profiting hundreds of dollars. What you saw I did with even that hundred and fifty dollars, I only spent twelve dollars on that burger. Uh, and I still made a hundred and fifty dollars, that's what, hundred and thirty eight dollars of profit, which is still a huge amount for how long I was working on it. But if you're going to start it, you may as well go the extra mile and finish it and get the three hundred dollars. So the way you can do that is just making sure that you put every single piece of cheese on. Uh, but then the much easier way is just sacrificing another two dollars and buying a seventh box of cheese. That basically guarantees it. And if, but if you're really, really paranoid about it, you could go and buy. Oh, people are setting off fireworks. If you're really paranoid about it, you could even go and buy an eighth box. You can buy as many boxes as you want. Just buying the more boxes you buy, obviously, the less money you make, the less profit you get. So don't go and buy 18 boxes and put it on the burger you're going to make significantly less than you would if you had just done uh, six or seven. But I do have, how many did I buy? I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to get it this time. Uh, how many did I have last time? I had one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. That's why. Uh, yeah, that's a, I didn't even try to do, I tried to do one less than I needed. I accidentally did an entire box less than I needed. I forgot to buy an entire box. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'll be right back with you when I'm done building my new burger. Uh, but before I do that, in addition to what I said earlier, just by adding more ingredients to increase your point value. Uh, because of that, this isn't the only way that you can do it. If you really wanted to, you could do it with bacon. If you're doing it with any meat products, they do have to be cooked to be worth a positive amount. Uncooked meat is worth a negative amount. Cooked meat is worth a positive amount. Uh, not putting buns on is, uh, will, I think, is literally the worst thing that you could possibly do. It decreases your point value by so much that you'd have, like, there's, like, four boxes of cheese worth of points uh, that you'll have to put on to replace either of the buns. So, uh, if you really wanted to, you could add sauce. That will increase your point value. You could add cooked meat. That will greatly increase your point value bacon is really good uh the other advanced food items are also really good you got bacon pretty sure there used to also be some others i may might i might be making that up completely i don't actually really remember but anyway actually this time i'll be right back all right here's my new burger it's already looking much more uh beefy than my old one was uh, again, no critics, but that's okay. I'm sure one will hopefully be here soon. Let's go. Oh, yeah, and I broke my own rules. I, I, I unboxed some stuff out here. Uh, and almost all of it got stolen, which is why you don't unbox stuff out here. Your your restaurant will get infested with rats. And they will steal all of your food. Just unbox it on the counters. It's not that hard. But anyway, I'm just going to start waiting again because I really don't have a choice. Alright, so we have finally got one. Uh, that took way longer than it should have, but it's finally here. This is going to be a bit dangerous, uh, so I am a little bit reluctant to do it, actually. I almost want to just wait for these people to leave, because the critics actually stay for twice as long as a normal customer. But I'm just going to do it anyway, because I'm very impatient. Oh. There we go. 
and we got the this message best burger ever and our three hundred dollars so that was that that was very minimal work that was required to get that money uh it took less than ten minutes probably just around if more than five minutes just by a little bit so just around five minutes to build that burger the hardest part's just the waiting, and while you're doing that, you could go build more burgers of the same type, or you could build act, or you could build normal burgers, serve those to people. That generates quite a lot of money. But I, uh, I generally only do the cheeseburgers. I, I find them to be the most effective. But anyway, thank you, uh, thank you everybody to uh, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Uh, the next giveaway will be at 500 subscribers it's going to be a ten dollar steam gift card which is uh that that's that's not going to happen for a while but uh if with, with all of your help i am hoping to get to 500 by the end of next year which i know is a little bit far-fetched but I, i'm just hoping we can do it so thank you everybody for watching the video as i already said and goodbye